Hello there. My name is Sarah Hendricks, and I'm the lead tutor with the eCampus Engagement and Analytics team, which includes STEM tutoring. Today, I would like to share with you some of the tutoring services that we have available at no extra cost. Physics 2211 and 2212 are challenging courses, so students should take advantage of all of the resources that are available to them. This video will introduce you to these resources, and you should return to it throughout the semester to review your options. Please note, you can always take advantage of the tutoring resources at your home institution, but this video is focused on the online options available to you through GoView. Clicking on the free tutoring buttons in various places in GoView allows you to choose among Tutor.com and Embedded Tutoring courses. Throughout the semester, you will receive emails and text messages routinely reminding you of tutoring, but you always have access to these options from free tutoring in the navigation bar, which is often under More, and the tutoring button along the right-hand side of your course homepage, as shown here. eCampus offers a multitude of online resources for students. In your physics course, you can click More and select Free Tutoring. That will bring you to the Tutoring Services page. This shows your options, including Tutor.com, Embedded Librarians, Embedded Tutoring, and the Writing Center. Tutor.com and the Writing Center both lead to Tutor.com's resources. The Embedded Librarian and Embedded Tutoring options, however, are courses within GoView. Students are enrolled in these courses automatically. Since this presentation is focused on options for your Physics 2211 or 2212 course, we will not cover the Embedded Librarian services today, but you can log into the Embedded Librarian's course in GoView for more information on the services they offer. We recommend that you should pin these courses for easy access. To pin a course, there are two options. For the first, begin by clicking the waffle icon at the very top navigation bar in GoView. This will give a drop-down menu of all available courses. Search Embedded and hit Enter. The eCampus Embedded STEM Tutoring course will appear. Click the small push pen icon to the right. It will become solid to indicate that the course is pinned. In the example, you can see that the top four courses with the solid push pins are pinned, whereas the courses below with the non-solid push pin are not pinned. The pinned courses always show at the top of the list. Courses pinned this way will also automatically show on your GoView homepage under My Courses. Alternatively, if you are viewing the My Courses section on your GoView homepage, you can click View All Courses and search Embedded and hit Enter. When you hover over the right-hand side of the course widget, you can click the push pin icon to pin the course. Again, pinning this way will cause the course to show up as pinned both in the Waffle List view and under My Courses. There are two key places for physics tutoring. The first is embedded STEM tutoring. For embedded STEM tutoring, you click on the link labeled as such, as shown here. It will take you to the embedded STEM tutoring course. Again, consider pinning this course along with your semester courses for easy access. So what exactly can you expect from the embedded STEM tutoring course? We work to answer your questions in a variety of modalities, including live chat, discussion boards, both in the STEM tutoring course and in your Physics 2211 or 2212 course, email, live sessions with audio and video, or live sessions with whiteboard. Live chat is our most popular format, so let's start there. For the embedded STEM tutoring live chat, Tutors are available at peak hours on a set schedule throughout the semester. You can view their schedule by tutor name on the main page of the Embedded STEM Tutoring Classroom. When a tutor is available, you will see the Gecko chat bubble in the bottom right of your screen. To double check the subjects that each tutor covers, you can refer to the Meet the Tutors discussion at the top of the list of discussion boards, or you can ask the tutor who answers the chat if they cover your subject. Since our tutors are available on a set schedule, they may not always be available for live chat during a time when you're in need of tutoring assistance. If this is the case, you have several options. One is the discussion board within the Embedded STEM Tutoring course. They are divided by subject, so look for either Physics 2211 or 2212, depending on which course you're enrolled in. Questions will be answered in a timely manner, but this method will not be immediate like the live chat is. 
In the Embedded STEM Tutoring course discussion boards, there's also a section for study strategies that may be helpful to you. If you have questions more generally about succeeding in physics, feel free to ask your questions there as well. Additionally, there is a tutoring discussion board within your physics course. The same tutor who covers live chat and the discussion boards within the Embedded STEM Tutor course for physics will answer questions in the tutoring discussion board that is inside your physics course as well. The main difference, of course, is that your professor has access to the discussion board within the course. A second option, if a tutor is not available at the time that you are looking for tutoring assistance, is to use the Embedded STEM Tutoring email. That email address is etutoring at ecampus.usg.edu. This email address is seen by all tutors and the lead tutor, so whoever is best for answering your question will get back to you within 24 hours. You can use email to request an appointment with a tutor or ask questions that you have about tutoring services. Do know that this email account cannot be accessed in GoView, as it is a separate account. You must email from your school email account. Gecko Chat is the primary point of contact for tutors when you enter the Embedded STEM Tutoring course, but there are other options for students who want a more interactive experience. After contacting a tutor in Gecko Chat, you can always request audio, video, or a whiteboard. A tutor can guide you through the process from there, but it is very simple. Collaborate Ultra, which is housed within GoView, offers audio, video, and chat. Tutor.com has audio, video, chat, and whiteboard, which can be especially helpful when working through certain types of problems. There is a team of five tutors in Embedded STEM Tutoring, but Tutor Jared, Tutor Elizabeth, and Tutor Keisha are the tutors who cover relevant materials for Physics 2211 and 2212. Tutor Jared covers Math 1501, which is Calculus 1, and both sections of Physics. Tutors Elizabeth and Keisha also cover Math 1501. If Calculus is your primary area of difficulty, you can always speak with them if Tutor Jared is not available. Again, though, you can send general tutoring inquiries to our email account if you're unsure who is the best tutor to answer your question. One final valuable resource in the Embedded STEM Tutoring course is the content. Content is the second tab from the left beside Course Home, and it works essentially the same as the content in your physics course. The material and content is organized by topics and courses, and the table of content shows all of the material that is available to you. Some of the most relevant tabs include the physics tab for the course that you're enrolled in and study strategies. However, if you find yourself struggling with the calculus problems in your physics course, you may also find useful information in the Math 1501 tab. If you have any questions about the material found in content, you can always email etutoring at ecampus.usg.edu or contact a tutor via live chat or the discussion boards. Just be sure to indicate that your question is about something found in the embedded STEM tutoring content, not your physics course content. The second of your two STEM tutoring options after the embedded STEM tutoring course is tutor.com. There are two key differences between tutor.com and the embedded STEM tutoring course. The first is that tutor.com is 24 seven, so you will always have access to tutoring services through tutor.com. The second is that Tutor.com tutors do not have access to your course material, so you may have to spend slightly more time explaining what you are working on to a Tutor.com tutor than you would to an embedded STEM tutor. To navigate to Tutor.com, follow the same steps used to navigate to embedded STEM tutoring. Click More and then Free Tutoring in your physics course to come to the Tutoring Services page. When you click Tutor.com, marked here with an arrow, it will open the Tutor.com landing page, shown on the right. Once in Tutor.com, you can choose from several options, the first of which is live one-on-one -on -one tutoring, which is available 24-7. You simply choose your topic and subject, which will show as your course number, and type a brief description of what you are struggling with. Then you can be connected to a tutor immediately. In Tutor.com, students have the option to either connect directly with an available tutor on the main page or schedule a tutoring session with a preferred tutor. Students can review the available tutors and their associated ratings, kind of like going shopping for a tutor. So if you discover a tutor that you enjoy working with over the course of the semester, you can continue to schedule sessions with that tutor specifically.
In Tutor.com, you also have the option to take various practice quizzes. This is helpful if you need some additional practice in order to solidify different concepts that are useful for physics, including both calculus and physics practice quizzes. Tutor.com has some great accessibility features as well. The first is tutoring in Spanish. Unfortunately, physics tutoring is not available in Spanish specifically. However, calculus tutoring is available in Spanish, so you may be able to find calculus tutoring helpful for some of your physics issues. Tutor.com is also mobile friendly, and they have an app available for download called Tutor.com to go. You can download this directly to your mobile device via either the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. If you have any questions about the material in this video or tutoring services that are available to help you succeed in your physics course, you can always contact etutoring at ecampus.usg.edu, or you can get in touch with me, the lead tutor, Sarah Hendricks. Best of luck this semester, and remember, tutoring is always available to you at no extra cost to assist you when you are feeling stuck or struggling with a specific problem or concept.